The northern border in Israel is heating up. We spoke with one of Israel's leading experts on the north, Dr. Yossi ben Aaron, and asked for his take on what he expects is going to be happening there. Dr. Yossi ben Aaron, there were days when you were quite responsible for Israel's dealings with Syria, with the negotiations with the Syrian government and so on. The northern border of Israel has become quite complicated since then. Where do you think we're at today? It's much more than complicated. You, you are kind in the, in, this, um, in the word you chose. I think uh, it's no longer the Syria that I had to contend with when I was negotiating with uh, the representative of Hafez Assad. That's the father, the father. of Bashar. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, because of the reality and the dependence of the government of Syria under Bashar Assad to uh, maintain its existence and uh, uh, contend with the uh, various uh, Sunni terror organizations, uh, that he paid a price. Uh, to, first to Russia, then to Iran, and, uh, and uh, then he uh, undertook a policy that is the, something horrific, which I think is a, a replica, but much worse than that which his father did in 19, I think it was 1972, when one city in Syria, uh, Hama. El Hama, became a, 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 a totally and, uh, subservient to the Islamic Brotherhood. And uh, after some attempts by his intelligence to try to put it down, it sent his, his brother with tanks and artillery. They simply bombed, bombed the hell out of Al Hama. We don't know to this day how many were killed. Just it was a massacre. Outright shooting. In the city, so uh, I think uh, the son learned a lesson, and the lesson is horrible because what he apparently wants to do it's a demographic, basic demographic change of the balance of uh, the population to break the back of the Sunnis and teach them not just a lesson, teach them that they have to be if you want to live here you have to take orders from me and my government. And uh, the Alawis, who always played a very key role, are now really the real rulers. That's his own family and their fr friends and, and uh, close uh, associates. And this he is achieving through, uh, through the outright, uh, you know, terrible support of uh, Putin and the Russians they want their base in Syria, and at what price, it, it doesn't matter, at price in terms of human beings, they couldn't care less. So Bashar is, uh, is, co is uh, cooperating because it serves his needs as well, and that's what we have to, to, con to meet in the future few months and maybe years. Uh, but however, a, a very important change has taken place with the advent of the Iranians. I mean, because the Iranians are not just content, con content with he helping uh, Bashar survive. They want to emplace the, uh, uh, in Syria a base against Israel. And that causes a, a, different, a, a different situation. And it places not only us, but it's even uh, Putin. He, he wanted now, now that he has such a, a, it succeeded to establish his base, both naval and territorial, inside Syria. He didn't want to, to have to may, face the problem of the Iranians and what they wish to achieve, which is, runs counter to some of his own needs and achievements. And this is becoming very much more uh, complicated and a challenge for us, which may end in some kind of a real clash between us and the Iranians there. And I don't know how. We will have to manipulate the situation so that we don't kill too many Syrians or few Russians in the process. It seems that uh, Defense Minister Lieberman is setting out red lines. He's telling whoever will yeah. listen, the Russians, the Iranians, the others, that there are certain things that Israel will not tolerate. And if you build bases, if you uh, try to uh, directly 
uh, threaten Israel from the Golan Heights, we won't. We will yeah. take action. It's easier said than done, and uh, it still remains a challenge because uh, the Iranians are no fools, and Bashar wants them there because he can play the one against the other if need be. That's the Russians against the Iranians, and therefore uh, they can uh, they can, for example, establish bases inside military encampments of the Syrians. So our, our uh, dilemma will be, what? do we kill the Iranians together with Syrians? Do we uh, face not just a confrontation with Bashar and his army, but what will the Russians do in this kind of a situation? They want to maintain Assad and his army as a uh, close ally because they serve uh, Putin's needs. So that's, that's the problem we have to face.